All right, everyone. Today, I wanted to talk about an incredibly important topic for those of you guys who are just starting to get serious about getting into Black Desert, and it has to do with a very big grind that you're going to want to consider going through, and it's really kind of your first endgame grind that you're going to consider. The reason why I wanted to make a video about this is because there's going to be a very strategical way that you might want to actually tackle this, and the sooner that you start to think about it, the better decision you're going to be able to make um, in order to actually get an advantage on this grind because a lot of people have made the mistake and they waited too long and they realized that the longer that you actually wait on deciding to go for this grind, the worse that it's going to end up being for you. And I really want to talk about the exact details of what I mean by this. Now, if you're wondering what item and what grind I am talking about, I'm talking about this item right here. And don't worry if you don't know what that is. It is a very, very big item. You're probably going to hear a lot of people talk about it in game. You might see it linked in the different chats. This is a very big item here, and what this is, is the Infinite HP Potion, also known as the Ornette's Spirit Essence. Now, what this is, is it's very simply just a regular HP Potion, just like the one that I actually have here on my hotbar, one of these Instant HP Potion Extra Large. The only difference is that it's infinite, so um, you don't need to get a bunch of them. Um, it's not going to take up an insane amount of weight like a bunch of regular potions are. And you don't need to worry about restocking or any of that sort of stuff. And because potions are used frequently, they've got a cooldown of just two seconds. You can go through an insane amount of these in just a very short period of time. So having an item as useful as a potion that has an infinite number of uses, you can see why this is definitely a game changer for a lot of people. And this is really that first major grind that you're going to want to think about going through. Now, the reason why I wanted to talk about this video here is because this is something you want to start to think about sooner rather than later. And I emphasize that sooner rather than later. Uh, I'm going to get into the details on why this grind is actually going to be more beneficial if you do it a little bit earlier on rather than waiting too late and going back to do it once you already have a whole bunch of really good gear. And this is a big mistake that a lot of people have made. And I, I hear a lot of people talking about this. A lot of people that I know who play the game, um, unfortunately, uh, now are going back and grinding for the infinite potion. And they say they regret it. and They wish they did it earlier on. I know that sounds crazy. It's very the opposite of what you might think. But there's a very specific reason why. And that's what I wanted to explain as well as I can in this video. It has to do with something called opportunity cost. Um, and a really big part of Black Desert Online has to do with your potential to make silver. And obviously, the better gear that you have, the better grinding spots that you're going to have access to, the more silver you're going to make and the more silver per hour you're going to get. Now, with this infinite HP potion, what this item is going to require you to do is you are going to go to various different spots that are considered to be lower level. Um, they're lower level relative to like the content that's out there right now. You're looking at around like 200 to 220 AP or so. I think Ronaros is like 240 is what it recommends, but you could probably get away with a little bit different than that. Um, nothing super crazy compared to like the late game spots that we've got um, out there right now, like Elvia. Um, the reason why it's important to bring this up here is because this spot, the monsters that you actually need to go through to kill are considered lower tier. And the actual spots themselves are, besides going for the infinite potion and the pieces that you're going to get from three specific areas, which are going to be the Sherkons, Necropolis, the Forest Ronaros, and then the Blood Wolves uh, camp or the Blood Wolves settlement, um, those three places are not really going to be an insane amount of silver compared to some of the newer spots that we have right now. Like right now, you've got people talking about making four to 500 million silver per hour, even if you don't think it's that high. And I've seen people actually get numbers like that. It's crazy how much silver you can get in the new spots. Like still 250, 300, 350 plus million silver per hour. These spots, you're looking at about, you know, 100 million or so. Maybe you might be able to stretch them to like 125. The main reason why people go to these spots, and you will still find a ton of people here, is because they're grinding for the infinite potion. This is going to be a major, major major grind and the primary reason you're grinding these spots is not for the silver it's gonna be for the potion pieces and no matter how you look at it whether you are do this earlier or later the time is a major commitment and it's going to potentially take you an insane amount of time nonetheless so unless you get rng carried expect to spend 50 100 150 hours or even more going for all three of these uh, very rare drops for the infinite potion now, the reason why I brought up those various um, silver per hour numbers 
um, and why this opportunity cost is so important is because earlier on when you are still getting into the game and your ap is like hovering in that low you know low 200s number um, basically like really anything before 250 or so this is a completely acceptable ap in order to actually go to these three spots where normally you would only make like 75 100 125 million silver per hour that's considered a pretty good amount of silver per hour to make at that ap it's definitely not bad again the main reason people go to these spots is not for the silver but for the potion pieces but nonetheless like with that kind of gear you're going to be farming for your potion pieces um while also farming in spots that are also going to be decent silver per hour for the gear that you have right now the problem is if you end up getting a bunch of gear and then later on deciding that you want to go back and get the infinite potion well now you're giving up a lot of potential because now you're able to access those really high level spots with your really good gear you're able to access places like elvia where you're making you know 250 300 350 plus million silver per hour and now you have to backtrack and go to a lower level spot um, where you're gonna have to spend potentially hundreds of hours farming for pieces that you could have gotten earlier when you didn't have as much gear and i'll say that the difference between like really high level gear and really low level gear for these spots sure it might make a little bit of a difference but it's not going to make a massive massive difference as long as you've got you know somewhere in the low to mid 200 ap's you're basically going to find yourself at about the maximum speed that you're going to be able to farm these areas the maximum amount of silver you're going to be able to get and the the same pace that you're going to be able to go for farming for this infinite potion so if you go back later on basically what happens is you're giving up your really high silver per hour that you can now farm at really high level spots because you've got the gear for it you're now giving that all up backtracking going back to a lower level spot where unfortunately the mobs are not as difficult and the silver is not as high but you have to go to that spot if you want to get the potion so if you do this earlier on when you don't have that crazy gear you don't have those options available to you to farm that crazy silver per hour so you're gonna be farming at a decent spot with decent silver per hour for your gear anyway and you can almost think of it as like you're knocking out two birds with one stone like you're gonna be farming in those areas for around that amount of silver per hour anyway you might as well start working on something really long term and really grindy like the infinite potion that's going to require potentially hundreds of hours of grinding while you're also building up wealth accumulating silver and building up your gear uh, and i'll just give you an example here just so you guys can see how huge this is i mean you can go and take a look and see how many uh, hours it's taken people to complete the infinite potion you will definitely come across many you can go ask anybody just ask server chat ask world chat ask whoever you want a group of people who play and who have gone for it you will definitely come across many people who have taken hundreds of hours to get this item so you know if you are giving up let's just say 300 hours uh say you give up 300 hours at uh you know now you're going back to a 100 million silver per hour farming spot instead of farming at like 300 million silver per hour well basically what you have here is you go from if you spend 300 hours at a 300 million silver spot basically that is 90 billion silver that you could make if you've got high tier gear and you are farming in a high level spot compared to the potion piece spots but now you're going to go back and you're going to spend those 300 hours in those lower tier spots going for the potion and instead of getting 90 billion silver in 300 hours at those higher tier spots you're now going to be getting 30 billion silver so that's still a lot and if you have lower gear like 100 million silver per hour it's definitely not terrible that's going to be about what you're getting with with you know that tier gear anyway but you've made a major downgrade if you go back later on because you're now giving up 60 billion silver which is a very very big number giving up your opportunity to grind in the spots that you could uh with the higher tier gear that you have now going and backtracking trying to go for this item later on so it becomes a lot more painful and a lot bigger of a dedication uh to do this after you are really well geared and sure you might be able to go for a tiny tiny bit more efficiency but the really big thing about getting those higher ap brackets higher dp brackets and getting that better gear is it's really going to allow you to ramp up the amount of silver per hour that you make making it very very difficult to justify going back to low tier spots like farming for the infinite pot so 
I wanted to put this out there. I wanted to really talk about it in detail, especially to those of you guys that are newer or haven't really thought about going for this item yet. Once again, I will say this is not an easy grind to go for. Um, you will come across many people who, who say they've spent hundreds of hours going for it. So if you do decide to do it, keep in mind that it is a marathon. It is not a sprint. It is RNG. You might get lucky on one piece. You might get unlucky on another but expect to be in for a very big grind. And if you do go for it, you want to try to do it at the best possible time when it comes to your account progression. So uh, hopefully this gave you some food for thought um, and some nice stuff to think about. If you guys enjoyed this video and this topic and you want more videos like this in the future, consider subscribing to the channel. We'd really appreciate the support, guys. Even something really little like tossing a quick like, it helps out more than you can imagine for the YouTube system. So thank you to those, those of you guys who do that. If you have any questions, comments, feel free to let me know. And of course, if you guys are interested in watching live where um, the live content's a little different than YouTube, YouTube's really more informational. On the Twitch stream, I spend a lot of time enhancing and it's really more entertainment based, but I'm sure you'll have a lot of fun. We do some pretty crazy stuff there. 10, 20, 30 billion silver of enhancing every single day. Twitch.tv slash salt. Uh, feel free to check it out, but that's going to be about it for now. So once again, thank you everyone. Take care. Have a good one. And until next time.